Remember them days when you didn't have to feel ashamed of the instincts you was born with? Take blood sports. Killing was still all right. So long as you kept your place, mind. The toffs would go banging off pheasants on their estates. And up on the common, your ordinary bloke could always reckon on a bit of rough shooting. you think that was bleeding funny? Well, you want to watch out. Somebody might get hurt. Furthermore, I'll have you know you're damaging council property. What? That old tin car, see? I'm warning you. Good mind a charge of cost of repairs. Fair enough. Patch it up, knock it off time. And a different target in future. Mm. Man's entitled to a bit of peace and quiet. Goes for a crap. Of course, you can't beat the real thing. Not when it comes to guns and it. Oh? What's that? No laughing matter, firearms. I've got a match pair of 12 balls myself. Belong to a rich uncle, got recently deceased. Only the best for my uncle, Loris. You give him grouses, what for in his time? Well, that's nice. All his togs and all. Plus fours, airy tweeds, one of them is Sherlock Holmes acts. So I'm fixing up to have a bit of proper shooting. Stuff what moves your fur and your feather. Might pop up Scotland, bang off a reindeer or two. And the antlers and the awl from the ants. A bit more sporting than rattling that old crapper. A bit more grown up, too. Well, best of luck, Mr. Perkins. Mm. Yes, Mr. Perkins. Best of luck, Mr. Perkins. Three bags F in four, Mr. Perkins. Old hard, son. What have we taught you is the first golden rule of warfare? Surprise, Jim. And how do we prime the enemy for a surprise? Well, he gives him a... Oh, I get it. You gives him a, a false, false sense, sense of security. <laughs> hey, you come unstuck, though, this time, ain't you? Serves the lot of your bleeding well right. Hope you're satisfied. It'll cost you, you know that, don't you? Ten bob a week docked all round till a new hut's paid for. Let that be a lesson to you. And grow up, why don't you? Else none of you be no better than that useless article of a tea boy. Ugh. <laughs>
It's a grim old business landing up to your ear holes in a shambles of your own making. I'll tell you for why. There's nothing dafter than the sight of a bloke licking his wounds while he's still kicking himself. Kind of thing could turn him bitter. <laughs> Blooming good laugh, though, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> hey, once that smoke clear. <laughs> Won't be a bigger bang this bonfire night. <laughs> what a wallop. <laughs> <laughs> Young Nimrod didn't half know about it, didn't he? Come a right cropper. Yeah. He wants to watch what he's up to. Getting too much of a smart aleck, ask me. Heap too. Your young un's got something out of his sleeve and all. Eric, come here. What's that you've got? Nothing, Dad. Nothing? I'll give you nothing. Give it here. What's I told you about fireworks? Now you go straight home, you hear? And you tell your mum you go straight to bed. Good idea with my belt, I catch you again, you hear? That's the accidents. Kids, that's bangers. That's right. Well, we earned our thirst then. <laughs> <laughs> To bag this one, Lord our bottle. Dead eye decayed in it. <laughs> <laughs> Many a time I've shot the airs off a goose cog. Elephant gun, range of an hundred yards. Ooh, yes. So now it's bleeding tapes with fireworks up me, Jacksy, is it? What next? What next? I'll just have to teach you a lesson you won't soon forget, won't I? See this here stick, young man? I'm going to use it to make your backside look like an umbug. You'll do nothing of the kind, you great bully. Why don't you pick on somebody your own side? Now listen here, madam. Shut up, you! What did he do to you, poor little soul? I never laid a land on him. Friendly word of caution. Next thing, he's blubbing. Well, what do you expect, you unbugging old sod? You're always creating at the kids you are. Got nothing better to do. Not doing you no harm. He might have caused a great deal of harm, did you, but no, it all I did was waggle my stick. I'll give you stick. Who do you think you are? The, the name of a cat's ah. street? Go on, get out of it. Go on, dirt. Ow. You're a bloody disgrace. Ow. Go on, stop. Uh. See how you like it. I'll have it known that as a respectable ratepayer, I deem it that I'm entitled to be protected from the persecution of both my person and my property by all and sundry riffraff. I will not stand for having any more fireworks bunged over me edge, and I hereby propose to contact the appropriate authority. There. God blimey, the poor man's Mussolini. What do you think you look like? Look, roll on. Little boys like you should be indoors by now. So bugger off, you stupid apus, making the place untidy. You and your walrus moustache. Operator, you are to connect me at once with the emergency services. <laughs> Hang on a tick, love. What service did you... Never mind about no just a bleeding tick. I pay me rates and taxes on the dot. I expect instant attention. Right when we got here, darling, haven't we? You will have to give me your name, sir, and state precisely which service you require. Is it an ambulance you want? A fire engine or two. Or would you prefer the Coast Guard and Mountain Rescue? Look, don't bugger me about, woman. Get me the police at once! Well, right Righto, then. You're through. <laughs> Bogampton Police, that you, Mum? Put me dinner on top. No, this ain't your mum. This is Harold Perkins speaking. Clerk of the works to the Bogampton Urban District Council. So listen here. I wish to state officially that I am apprehensive for my property. This Nutty Nook, Catchpole Street. I shall now state for why. I got a fair bit of combustible tackle on these premises, including, I might add, a quantity of live ammo. I do not wish me house burned down to no bleeding frazzle. So seeing as how it's bonfire night tomorrow and I shan't be here to exercise no vigilance, I should be relying on you lot to exercise it on my behalf. I've already had one little sod attempting arson. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, sir, I know what you mean. Mm. 
Youth of today, high spirits. High spirits, my backside, wanting bleeding vandalism, I call it. So just you lick your pencil and write this down, for I propose to name the guilty party. Ready? Right. It's a snotty-nosed little tick. Goes by the name of Eric. Lives at number 32. His father's a bone idle bricklayer, actual name Charles Goble, but commonly known by the dregs of this town as Chick. You got that? Not to worry, sir. We'll keep a special eye. Oh, will you be far away tomorrow, sir, just in case they comes mob handed with incendiary bombs? Matter of fact, I'm going shooting with the knobs of Arbottle Hall. Special invitation of Councillor Harris. What knows Lord Arbottle personal? Early start, so. Uh... I wish you good night and obliged for your help. Mm. Well, that puffy nosed bag of wind. I never heard nothing like it in all my life. You'll have to look after this for me, Ruby. Wait till my terps hears about this. The eruptions. <laughs> I should never forget old Mushy staggering out of that carsey. <laughs> <laughs> Neptune, more painful, that. That's <laughs> six, Mum. What happened after? It didn't do our health much good, though, did it? No, not our pay packets. Not ten bob a week, that'll help us some piles. <laughs> He's right, lad. You ought to take more care. Innocent people suffer. Worth it, though, wasn't it? Well. Blimey. Here, I was coming past... No, never mind about no drink. Listen. Perkins been on the blower to the cop shop. Says somebody been trying to set his house alight. <laughs> <laughs> no, time, eh? no, it's bad. Accusing your Eric, he was. Give your name and address and all check. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll never be oh, fire raising over old Perkins, eh? Right, give him his warning about playing with fire. I'll tan his eyes. Oh, no, you wait. If anyone's going to get a tan in, it'll be that Lord Haw Haw Perkins. Has there been a fire or ain't there? I said. Betty Martin, you really ain't done nothing, but that knock kneed bully was going to larrup him with this, wouldn't it? And would have done if Beryl hadn't stepped in smartish. And what are you going to do about it? That's what I want to know. Tar and feather him. Then set light. Hang him from a lamppost. No. Too bloody good for him. I calls on Figaro. Right. One call on Figaro. Every, Every bugger calls, calls on Figaro. Figaro. Scuffling and skirmishing is all very well, but when it comes to all-out war, you can't beat a nifty bit of sabotage. And another thing you can't be without, reliable intelligence. Get to know your enemy's movements. Turn his plans and his calculations to your own advantage, no bother. You feed him Duff Jensey and lure him into your trap. Catch him on the wrong foot and you can move in for the kill. Wanna bother, Mr Perkins? 
bleeding thing might start. Half it, is it, when that happens? Oh, I could throw these handles through the poxy perishing window. Not to make the bleeder start. What do you want then? Something important. Only going hunting with Lord Arbottle, that's all. Nice. Go and fish myself. Couple of three Jack Pike. Can't whack it, can you, early start? You're old Arctic. You uh you uh you couldn't uh, possibly give us a lift, uh, could you? Our button all that's half an hour's drive. Some be on the water. Oh, I wouldn't half be obliged. Tell you what, you don't stop nothing out of young Nimrod's wages for the yacht. I takes you. Oh. All right then. I suppose so. Ain't game, them's vermin. Yeah, but you never yet fired them guns of yours, you? Well, if you mean actually fired. So it wouldn't be a bad idea take a pop shot a few bunnies, would it? I mean, just to get the feel. You don't want to turn up with them knobs and make. Uh... No, no, mm. see what you mean. Oh, quite not. Look over there. Here, give us it. Right. Cartridges. <sighs> Careful now. Safety catch off. Ha <whistles> <laughs> ha! Blooming marvelous! Two with one barrel. <laughs> hey. Here, you've been having me on, ain't you, eh? Pretending you didn't know nothing about shooting. <laughs> well, you know me. Didn't like to brag. <laughs> <laughs> Better pick them up a bit smartish, in case the old gamekeeper's about. Oh, God, yeah. All right for a tick. Empty the other spout. Give them all fire beaters and peppering. You've done the poor machine. That's what. Crikey. What'll I do? What'll I do? What'll I do? There's nothing you can do. He's well and truly coofered. That's right. There's nothing I can do. Get me out of here, double quick! <laughs> well, I mean, if he snuffed it, he snuffed it. There's nothing I can do. Maybe, maybe not. But there's no sense in reporting it. All the scandal. Oh, I'll be finished at the town hall. All up to your conscience, I'd say. Well, accidents will happen. What I thought when the tea got blowed up, still got to pay for it. Listen, I'll pay for the up. You help me. Drop you down the cop shop, only wait. No, 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 no. Uh, go back home. Uh, phone our bottle all, say me car won't start. Which is true. So I can't go. Uh, the clippy gun, put it away. Uh, then I got an alibi, ain't I? All right. I'll run you home, collect your wits, have a cup of char. Then you'll have to do what's right and proper. <laughs> <laughs> now we wait for his conscience to start a brewing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, bugger me, what a mess. Oh. But I didn't mean to. Just bang, bang at them rabbits and some geese has to come creeping out of the woods, rolls over and snuffs it. Oh, my God. How am I going to clear this lot up? Oh, Harold, you went half in the shit this time. Killed a bloke. I have to live with that thought the rest of my life. Might have been chief building inspector. Kept to clean sleep. Might have had my own dumpy level. Had the whole of the sanitary department calling me, sir. Not now, though. I've had it. Manslaughter ain't respectable. Be drummed out of the Rate Pairs Association. They won't have no kill-off for the catchpole ward candidate. Oh, Mummy. What would you have said? Tell the truth and shame the devil, that's what. But you can't own up to a thing like that. It is not like piddling in the bleeding bed. I didn't do it on purpose. I mean, not really guilty. Done it, though, didn't you? Oh, I don't know, pity me. <laughs> and I've sinned. <laughs> and I don't want to fly now. Who, who can I turn to? <gasps> what shall I do? Confess, my son. Yea, verily, I say unto thee, go to the boogies. Not such a very clever stroke, was it, sir? Not reporting an accident straight away. Public got some strange old ideas. Victim might have been patched up, be walking about by now, even having to laugh about it with no hard feelings. As it is, list as long as your arm. Manslaughter, a GBH if the poor shot hasn't quite bled to death. Negligence, not to mention trespass, poaching, and very likely no current gun license. I suppose you think this is all very comic cuts. Making false reports, wasting police time. Just our little joke, was it, sir? Quick march! <laughs> right, everybody ready? Yes! Here's to remember. The Gunpowder, treason, and plot. been the victim of a practical joke, but nevertheless you should have reported the matter sooner. Vems, who's responsible, officer? Consider yourself lucky I'm not nabbing you.
What's your speedy? Nice of you to bring us a guy. I'll give you guy, you scambling young hounder. <laughs> You lot have been leading us. Still. All in a good cause, isn't it? <laughs> a one. One. A two. two. And a three. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, nobody's person or property was allowed to come to grief. It's just that we saw no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. In those far-off days of the Figaro Club, before the world turned lax and sour. Thank you.